All right, welcome to Seven Ninja Studios. I want to celebrate August, and to do that, we're going to be painting an orc miniature every Monday throughout the month of August, and we're going to be starting with a special. This is the first Friday of August. We're going to be painting an orc on Friday as well, so there will not just be the four orcs that represent Mondays, but also an orc on Fridays. All right, so here we have our orc boy with Shooter and Choppa. He's going to be a Bad Moons orc, and the orc Bad Moons are good at shooting, so he's got a Shooter instead of a Slugga. We're going to be using orc flesh for the skin tones, with the and in yellow for the yellow part of the Bad Moons armor, black Templar for a lot of the cloth, snakebite leather for all the leathery bits, and Blood Angel's red for a little bit of the detail work. As always, we're just going to start slopping that uh, orc flesh in there. Want to make sure we get it on good and thick so that it piles up in the recesses of the uh, muscles and really gives us a little bit of good shadow and, and let the contrast paint do what it does. This is the part of the model where we come through and we take the same color we used as the primer, whether that's our gray sear, our uh, wraith bone, or in our case, just plain white because we use white primer. Uh, and we cover up some of the details where we got a little bit sloppy. Uh, some of the cloth work around the wrists and things like that, we got some uh, orc flesh on. We just want to clean that up so we can put other colors over it later without them being tinted green because the contrast colors are a little bit transparent. Now we're going to come through and we're going to grab that snake bite leather, which is a beautiful rich brown, and we're going to hit all the details that we need snake bite leather. That's mostly going to be like the wrist wraps, uh, the boots. We start with the boots, and there's a lot of work on the backpack. There's a lot of straps and things that go through that backpack and around the body. So it is going to take a few minutes, uh, but it's really easy color to use. It's great to work with, and you get amazing results just looking at it super fast.
Of course, because I'm not always particularly careful, there is a little bit of a cleanup phase after the snake bite leather as well, because the next colors we'll be applying are going to be uh, the yellow and the black. Now we're going to grab our Ayandan yellow and uh, we're going to put that all over the cloth bits. We're also going to do it over the helmet and a little bit on the, the chain axe um, or chain sword. One of the things we're going to do with it, we're also going to be putting it on the barrel of the gun. I like to color my weapons uh, with the, the primary colors of the clan or the, the army that I'm doing, uh, but you don't have to. Um, traditionally orcs do have metallic weapons, so you could use a metallic silver. Uh, over a black and dry brush that silver on or just paint it and maybe do some null oil or black templar over it uh, but we're going to paint ours uh, with uh, bad moons or and in yellow Now it's time for us to pick up that Black Templar and we're going to go over the uh, weapon, the, the teeth of the chain axe, we're going to be going over some of the handle parts, we're going to be just going over a lot of the details that it's it's now it's time to give those details some life, make them black. Uh, and we'll be coming over with a few other colors and picking out details as well in a minute. Uh, but this is a great stage. You can see as I go through this that it really, really starts to come together very well with the addition of the black here on the teeth of the chain sword, for example, and things like that.
All right, almost everything is colored now, so it's time for us to go in and start doing a little few things like uh, make the teeth white and start picking out other details. Uh, a little bit there on the visor that we can make that uh, into a glowing lens. Uh, we'll start picking out things like we'll go over the bullets that got Black Templar on them so that we can go over them with brass uh, and make them look like brass bullets. And we'll just be picking out details. A little bit of white on top of things where we want to make sure that we have other colors. And then we'll have some fun putting the detail work on it. And this is really where you give a lot of character to model. So, so take some time, think about it, see what you want to do, and play with it. Really go crazy with those colors. For the bullets coming out of the shooter, as well as the uh, bullets on the backpack, I'm using Secret Weapons Brass Fixtures. I think that's one of the best brass colors I've seen on the market. Brass casings, I'm sorry. Uh, it's one of the best brass colors on the market, and I think it adds a really lifelike and uh, realistic brass color uh, to your bullets. Now this part of the project is where you can have a little fun because more or less everything is done and it's time to start putting in some fun details that make things really have an orky character. In this case I took a little bit of pure black from Reaper Miniatures uh, and you can use uh, Chaos Black or Abaddon Black if you like and I just put some uh, hazard stripes onto that chain axe, uh, chain sword, I keep calling it a chain axe, oh my god! Um, put some hazard stripes on that chain sword just to give it some character. I'm also going to take some of that Bad Moon's uh, Blood Angel's red. I keep wanting to say Bad Moon's red. Good lord, I cannot talk today. I'm going to take some of that Blood Angel's red and I'm going to put some red hazard stripes on it when I do the lens in the eye as well. And this is just something you can just have so much fun with. Uh, and then uh, I also showcase that I use a little bit of uh, Agrax Earthshade uh, just to help that brass look a little bit more, give it a little more definition between the uh, bullets. But here this is where you're decorating the model. I could have put hazard stripes on the barrel of the gun, I could have put some rust effects on the barrel of the gun, could have drawn some sigils. You know, I wanted to keep it simple because I do have, if you're playing an orc army, you probably have 30, 60, 90, 120 orc boys 
and you want to get through them fairly fast. So nothing that takes too much time. We're just going to slap a little bit of detail on to give everybody just a little bit of character. And as we get ready to go into the base, I took a little bit of PVA glue. This is a Elmer's glue or school glue, white glue it's sometimes called. It dries clear. And I, I took that and I just spread it all over the base where I'm going to be putting the uh, Martian iron crust. Uh, and I did that so that when the Martian iron crust dries, it really does pull away because it's against a glossy surface. 
All right, Team Ninja, thanks for joining us for Seven Ninja Studios while we painted this Bad Moon Orc. We're really happy to celebrate August. And uh, we've got a lot more coming up for you guys. So don't forget to leave a like. Leap, throw something in the comments if there's something you'd like to see us work on. Share uh, this video on social media. Subscribe if you want to. Please ring that notification bell. Join Team Ninja. And don't forget to support us on our uh, new website, uh, sevenninjasstudios.com. Uh, and also, don't forget to support us on our Patreon. That's going to enable us to do a lot more exciting new models and have a lot of fun with it. Thanks for your time. Y'all enjoy. Happy painting.